हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी डू हिट द सब्सक्राइब बटन इफ़ यू हैवन डन इट येट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हिबल स्टेटिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम से इज दैट द फिफ्टी पाउंड मल्चिंग मशीन हैज़ अ सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी एट जी डिटर्मिन द वर्टिकल रिएक्शन एट द व्हील सी एंड बी एंड द स्मूथ कॉन्टेक्ट पॉइंट ए सो द वेट इज एक्टिंग एट दिस पर्टिकुलर पॉइंट जी एंड वी हैव टू फाइंड द नॉर्मल रिएक्शन एट ए बी एंड सी एंड दे आर एक्टिंग इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो नाउ लेट मी शो दोज रिएक्शन एट ए बी एंड सी सो वी विल हैव लेट से एन ए एच बी वी विल हैव वर्टिकल रिएक्शन एन बी एंड एट सी वी विल हैव वर्टिकल रिएक्शन एन सी एंड द वेट ऑफ द मशीन इज एक्टिंग एट पॉइंट जी वर्टिकली डाउनवर्ड लाइक दिस सो दिस वेट इज 50 pounds now since the system is in equilibrium if we apply the summation of the moment about the y axis equals to 0 so and b and and c they are passing through they are intersecting with the y axis so they their perpendicular distance from the y axis is equal to 0 so they are not going to come into our equation so in our equation we will have this na and this weight so summation of moment about y will enable us to find this na uh, so now as we can see that this na is going to rotate the whole system about y axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the negative y direction so this means that na is producing the clockwise moment if we observe the whole mechanism from this direction and the perpendicular distance of and a from the y axis is this distance which is 2 plus 1.5 so and a is producing the clockwise moment and a since the thumb is pointing out in the negative y direction and its perpendicular distance from the y axis is is 2 plus 1.5 so this is 3.5 so and a times 3.5 and then the weight is going to rotate the whole system about the y axis is in this direction like this and if i curl my right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive y direction right so the weight is producing the moment about y axis in this direction and the thumb is going to point out in the positive y so it is producing the counter clockwise moment so i will write plus the weight is 50 and the perpendicular distance of the weight from the y axis is, is this distance which is 2 so i will multiply this 50 with 2 so this is equal to 0 and from this we can write that minus and a into 3.5 is equal to minus 50 into 2 and from this we can say that this minus sign will cancel out so 50 into 2 divided by 3.5 will give us an a uh, magnitude so this is uh 15 into 2 is 100 divided by 3.5 this gives us 28.571 let's say so an a is 28.57 pounds now we know an a similarly if we apply the summation of the moment about the x axis is equals to 0 so as we can see that an a is intersecting with the x axis so its perpendicular distance from the x axis is 0 it's not going to produce the moment about the x axis is similarly the line of action of this 50 pound force is passing through that x axis is so it's uh, the perpendicular distance of this weight from the x axis is zero as well so only this and c and this and b they are going to produce the moment about the x axis is now as we can see that this and a is going to produce the moment about the x axis is in this direction like this and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the in the negative x direction so this means that it is producing the clockwise moment about the x axis so i will write minus and c and the perpendicular distance of and c from the x axis is, is this distance which is 1.25 so i will multiply this and c with 1.25 similarly this and b is going to rotate the whole system about the x axis is in this direction and if we curl our right hand fingers in this direction so the thumb will point out in the positive x so this means that and b is producing the counter clockwise moment so we will write plus and b and again the perpendicular distance of and b from the x axis is, is this 1.25 so i will multiply and b with 1.25 and this is equal to 0 so from this we can write that and b into 1.25 is equal to and c into 1.25 and 1.25 will cancel out so from this we can conclude that and b 
is equal to n c so the reaction at wheel b and c they are equal now if we apply the summation of forces along the z axis is equals to zero again the system is in equilibrium as we can see that an a and b and and c they are acting in the positive z direction so i can write that plus n a plus n b plus n c this will be equal to the weight weight is acting in the downward direction or we can say that minus the weight right so so n a plus n b plus n c minus 50 is equal to zero and as we know that n b and n c are equal so if i uh, replace this n c by n b so we will we will have 2 n b right the sum of these two will be 2 n b so let's say this will be 2 n b and if I bring this 50 to the other side of equation and, and A to the other side of equation, so we will have the equation like this. And and B will be equal to 50 minus and A. And A is uh, 28.57. So 28.57 divided by 2. So this will give us and B equals to and C. So this is 50 minus 28.57 divided by 2 this gives us 10.72 so from this we can write that and b equals to and c equals to 10.72 pounds and and a is equal to 28.57 pounds so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy if it helps in your learning